Welcome to an all-new episode of Unfounded Hatred. I am your host, Sarah Benjamin. I'm sorry I've been drinking. And rightfully so, I might say, because today I'm forcing myself to talk about G.I. Joe retaliation. I'm sorry. I had to make myself feel better somehow. So here's the trailer for G.I. Joe retaliation. Let me get this straight. One whole weekend, you looking after my little girls. Yep, as long as I can bring this. I love your kids, but they live to terrorize me. I do. See that? Security's early. Is it just me or is the rock and Channing Titty and like fucking everything? I don't understand it at all. Hmm. Everything. There's only one man who could authorize a strike like that. And I voted for him. My fellow world leaders, this country is at war. The new special forces unit, codenamed Cobra, will protect us. But the Joes could not. The G.I. Joes are no more. What if the president isn't the president? You're insane. Our government has been infiltrated. Any and all traces of our existence is terminated. I never understood how in movies like these, like, government agencies get, like, disavowed and then somehow they still have all their fucking gear and their gizmos and their fucking weapons. If I was the government and I was like, you're fired, the first thing I would do is cut them off from all their shit. Second, I would make sure they weren't fucking butthurt about it. And third, I would probably just kill them anyway. That's what they do in real life. Sandy Hook? Hello? We have to assume that there's no one we can trust. There is one man. He's the reason we call ourselves Joes. Take two cases of thin mints and a box of Chuckalucks. General Colton, call me Joe. What Cobra did to us, they are gonna do to the world. This is it, boys. This is what we waited for. Boom. Whoever did this, we'll be back. We're all that's left. Let's get to work. The world ain't saving itself. You know, I'm thinking with like the rise of super storms and like fires and earthquakes and AIDS and all that shit, that the world is probably saving itself from us. I wasn't gonna bury any more Joes. Something else is going on here. Get out of there now. Idol's a little rough and neutral. I ain't gonna be in neutral. So now that that shitstorm has gone by, let's talk about the trailer. I have an idea for a new rule that if a movie gets below 40% on Rotten Tomatoes, there's not allowed to be a sequel. And I don't even care if like the audience rating is really high, I would even sacrifice movies that I like that have below 40. Cause this sequel making nonsense just has fucking stop, especially when the movie's shit. G.I. Joe stars The Rock? No. Bruce Willis as G.I. Joe. Huh? And Chatham Titty. Oops! I really think that this movie is a big problem for cinema. People like these movies. They come to me and they're like, Dude, looks good. And I'm like, fuck you. You got a problem? I got a problem. You got a problem.
those too bad. Ow. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and talk about the movie in the comments.